Hi, another repair video from Fast Tech. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the network card on a MacBook Air. Uh, we sell the network card on our website, and uh, we all sell all other kinds of tools and parts for MacBook and uh, MacBook Air, and all other Apple products on our website. I'm going to be putting a link in the description for that, so do check us out. Let's get started. Find out what model number your MacBook is. Uh, you can flip it over, and at the back here, you're going to see some text. I'm going to try to focus on it. Uh, and uh, he, right here in the first line, it says model A1466. Uh, and that is the model number. So that's how you can tell what model number you have. And uh, every model has a different LCD. Uh, it has these screws on the back that we're going to have to remove to open, uh, open the bottom case to take it out. Uh, and it uses these pentalobe screws. Uh, and you're going to need a pentalobe screwdriver like this. And we sell this on our website. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys. So do check us out if you, uh, if you want to buy the screwdriver. The ones over here at the back here, these ones are going to be longer screws like these ones. Once you've removed all these screws, this aluminum piece, the back, uh, the bottom panel is just going to come off. You just lift it from the back and it comes off like so. Now we have access to the MacBook. All right, so once we have the MacBook open, uh, before we do anything, we're going to disconnect the battery. Uh, the battery connector is right here. We're just going to pull on it like this. Okay, uh, once we've removed the battery connector, now we can uh, start working on this MacBook. Now, if you want to replace your network card, let's just say your Wi-Fi is not working, you're going to lift this screw out here. Remove these two cables that connect to the network card. You lift them up. Lift out the network card like this. We sell this on our website, www.fasttech.ca. You get your new one, put it in like this, same way you took it out. Put the screw back in. Rerun the cables. Once you have the network card back in, once everything's reinstalled, reconnected, I'm going to reconnect the battery. Now I can start installing our case back on. And after the last screw is installed, we're done. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you want to receive notifications. Uh, and don't forget to like our videos and comment on them. We try to respond to as many comments as humanly possible. Uh, and also, don't forget to check out our website if you need any parts, tools, or repair services. If you don't want to do it yourself, at www.fasttech.ca. And I'll catch you in the next one.